against an Olaf comp, so this is exactly what they decide to remove. However, my problem here is they opened Ziggs and Grunekton, and that went over straight to T Flash. So you have one of the one of the Holy Trinity from Riku's um, stats, and you also have a semi global ult, a bomb that can just come at you wherever from the map. Yeah, this actually, the Ziggs could actually go still towards dialing still could be a possibility and then you pop in an Ari for Ellie we talked about the double assassins before you supply the charm and Al and Joyce will come in with the finish but of course we're seeing a Lulu getting locked in this is just perfect you the wild growth will either go towards Wolf on the Sin Zhao maybe mm -hmm. even towards the Akali for Wen and for PP as well depending on where these are going to go oh that is true oh okay T Flash, they they're gonna lock in that fist. So we have two swimmers from Team Flash. But looking back into looking for Daddy, I like the possible damage output that they have. A lot of knockoffs, a lot of initiates, basically for their side. Yeah, I, I changed. One. You know, it's not gonna be an Ari anymore. It's still the same thing, except <laughs> you need level five for the Chum the Waters for Look at this that one, though. CC and setup. It's the fact that they're called Team Flash. They got a fire logo, but now they're drafting a whole bunch of water. Now I tell you what, <laughs> right? you know what? You don't have to be a draft expert to understand. You know, you fight fire with fire. You fight fire with water. What on earth is going on? I see a pocket fizz when I know one. The first of the tournament. I'm hyped. I'm excited. Let's jump into game number one. Casters, take it away. Bring me the horizon, Skimmy. We are here on a conquest where Team Flash is looking for the spark of brilliance. Lead the way. Well. For daddy, it's gotta be a uh, conquest for a paternal figure as we dive right in to the rift. So, Omo, what do you think of the draft so far? We got some explosive pigs coming in for looking for daddy while Team Flash tries to match with that one. Well, Contra, I think the draft doesn't matter. I want to call back to your intro here. What was that about a paternal figure for LMD? Okay, regardless, that, that was a that was pretty good setup. Pretty <laughs> But I think the main thing we want to pay attention to here is how did all these picks get through uh, ban phase? There's a Zix, there's a Camille, we're an actor in top. What did these two teams ban? That's that's my question here. Yeah, like, uh, we look back to Team Flash as well as LFD's uh, style of ban. It, it felt like they just want to open things up and see what can we actually get out of it. So, Akali, it's been a long while since we see yeah. her back into popularity. So, with those sort of nerfs, do you feel like She's just unplayable in the early game, or how's it gonna be like for when on MLFD? She's definitely not unplayable, but she does lose a lot of her power. I think the only situations you would pick her is if you feel really confident with the pick, first of all, you must be feeling it because this is a mechanically extremely intensive champion and you think it fits the draft. Now for me, I don't think this is exactly what you would say fitting the draft. It's not exactly many easy targets for her to assassinate. So I don't know if this is the best Akali game. What I really do like for LND is their Baron setup and their Dragon setup. Lucian Lulu, always gonna be strong. And I think this is one of the only lanes that can truly punish a Ziggs lane. In the Baron lane, Camille can't go wrong with that one. Sin Zhao can't go wrong with that one. Just solid picks all around. Yeah, I really like the draft coming from LFD so far. They got it going. Uh, they can't easily lock one member down and overwhelm them with a burst of damage if they were to go in for a collision. So yep. with the war that we initially saw, spotted out uh, those rotation coming in. We're not expecting all too much to come right by, but Wolf is going to be going in for a setup. That's the flash. That's the spur that's on top of it all. And that should be first blood. Oh, it's a church man. wolf. Is he drop? What's the one with the line as well? Well, an eye for an eye. An eye for an eye indeed. I do believe PP ends up losing a little bit of farm there as well. So I would say Shy. He's happy with this. I think the analyst best touched on how important Shy is for Flash. This guy's one of the main carries, one of their star performers, and he's one of the best Baron laners in Vietnam as a whole. He needs to make sure that he gets a lead in this matchup. If not, Camille can just run the show, and he's doing exactly that. He gets taken down, manages to trade one for one, and he's still 400 gold up. Yeah, I think that's really vital. If you're going to be losing out, might as well just trade right there. So this yeah. Renekton just got to be able to be that lane bully that he's designed to do. And what can Camille actually spawn with so long as she doesn't get that ultimate? But speaking of that, except ultimate is up and we're in for round two. Shy dropping low as well with the pressure sweep. Oh, no. his health pretty oh. darn low. And with the knockup, that will force boys to just flash right away. Team flash. They managed to survive, but it's 
still going to be quite costly when it comes down to the summoners. Very, very iffy situation for Team Flash. Like you mentioned, they do have to flash. And Shy and Joyce, they nearly took that one, but a little bit not enough. A, bit, a little bit lacking in damage. Wolf on that Sin Tower with the lead that he has is tanky and does damage. That's kind of the whole the whole point of Sin, right? He goes mm -hmm. in, he does a bunch of damage, and he can't kill. That's exactly what we're seeing. What I do like so far from both of these teams is correctly identify Baron Lane is the call of the game. This whole game is going to hinge on that matchup, and we need to play around that. Now, Wan's going to drop. Oh, that's some hot takes right there. Perfect execution. Not enough to take down Ellie. If only a Slither Hitch be left. I think that was a great chunk of waters that have landed. Yeah, it definitely is a very nice chunk of waters. He punishes Ellie appropriately. The way this matchup needs to interact is you have to be so fast as the Akali. The moment Fizz goes in with the first skill, you must be immediately ready to use your third skill to cancel, dodge out, and proc your passive. This needs to be... You need to be able to accurately replicate that basically every trade if you want to comfortably play, play this matchup. If not, we will just see a repeat of what we just saw. Ellie's just gonna dash in on you and kill you. And from what I've witnessed, that's a level... level four for four minutes of play. And we're yeah. seeing Rapidon staff cap on Ellie already. Oh Meanwhile, PP with some big energy, but he still there falls we go. right over in the Baron lane. And Shy is just looking to stop me. Yeah, Shy, we always talk about this guy. He is the key player of Team Flash. He's popping off. Ellie in the solo lane as well is popping off. He's your fight, though. Feeling coming in with the barrier. How long can he survive? The sent out goes down yes. right first. Quan still going for chase. No. Well, there will be the wall growth that saves him for a tad bit. The one with a very optimistic approach. It doesn't seem all too much, but she oh, no. gets caught oh, out one. as well. Here comes that ultimatum. Ellie dropping low. Emily gets popped and looking for Daddy nice. to give chase. And I guess they will reset from here. Yeah, and Joyce will be able to get out of that situation. It looks a bit messy. They traded kills back and forth. But pay attention to the map contra. All of this is going on. Shy got the Baron Lane turret for free. PP sacrifices Flash and his turret to come down and kill. If I was this fish right now, I'd be typing Wolf in all chat. Yeah, <laughs> you just gotta go all BM if that's gonna be it. <laughs> no, it I'll just type more than just sense, right? It's really not worth yeah. play. It's pretty yeah. dumb. <laughs> yeah, like I, I look at that sort of situation and I'm like thinking, you know, LFD. They're just kind of overzealous right now. They, they're giving a little bit Definitely. more leeway for Team Flash. And now yeah. working on the Herald. Working on the Herald, this is probably going to net them a second turret as well. Just keep in mind, while the stars are on the side of Team Flash that are shining right now, okay, oh, that's all. Well, and he gets jumped on, PP's going to fall right next. Shy yeah, okay. just playing such just like a that. solid match that I <laughs> think this is going to be pretty hard for the Camille to do anything at this point. Yes. I think if you look at the gold right now, he's probably close to double of what PP has. This is going to get accelerated out of control. And this comes back to the point we were making, all right? Shy, Joyce, Ellie. The solo lanes and the assassins are popping up. They are the shining stars of flesh. But don't forget, there's always the Ziggs. He's the backup plan. He has the Infernal Bomb. He has the Satchel Charge. So if, if you get this Riff Herald, which Team Flash did, it's on Joyce right now. He's going to pop that down into a Satchel Charge. That's going to be another turret for Flash. If they break the mid lane open, this double assassin team comp can just take over the game. Yeah, just overwhelming them with a lot of all these fast paced decisions. Team Flash yeah. is in the driver's seat right now, 62, and having a 5,000 goal lead in such a short duration is absolutely impressive. Now, that definitely doesn't surprise all the analysts on the desk. But I, I'm honestly hoping for something more coming from looking for Daddy because if you look at the liquid potential, it looks quite all right, but Juan just got to start showing up. <laughs> yeah, he needs to start showing up because a lot of the team comp is based on him. That is true. The Lulu can buff him, but the Lulu can also buff the Sin Zhao, right? But the Sin Zhao being behind makes it so hard. And he has truly buff targets. Only one is viable right now. Only the Lucia is truly a viable target for you to buff up and hope he can carry a team fight. This is going to be a dragon as well for Team Flash. Goes absolutely for free, Team Flash. We'll have the rest of the members of Looking for Daddy hiding underneath the turret, chum the water, hits on to win, and look at his HP bar. That's 50%. Yep. And you, you got nothing to do. You just got to go back to base, or else, you, if the Kha'Zix is anywhere close, which thankfully it's not, he's just going to be taken out. 
Yeah, and there's so many things to take note of as well, right? Sure, you have the double assassins to come in and kill them, like you mentioned. But you know what's great about Flash's team comp? You don't even need to go in with your assassins. You throw the charm the waters, and guess what's coming on top of that? It's the Super Mega Inferno Bomb. That's gonna take out any squishy 100 to 0. Yeah, I, I think this is a crazy composition that the Bash could draft out and out got away with it. And same goes <laughs> to Wen, who can't even handle the Renekton's pressure, which I doubt Wolf will be able to do so, but he will be able to defend for it half longer. Now, I think this is way too much once more. I want to look at the items again. What does Jai have? But meanwhile, we have one <laughs> turning golden as the turret crumbles. He flash takes out all the tier one within span of eight minutes. Yeah, indeed, Contra. This is just domination from Team Flash. They've looked at their compatriots from the Vietnam region. They look at Divine Esports. They look at Saigon Phantoms. They say, we're going to succeed where you guys have failed. We're going to take down our opposition. And this is going to be Vietnam 4 against Taiwan 3 at that. The Taiwanese second seat did take down the Vietnamese third seat prior to this. But they kind of want to avenge their countrymen. And they want to make sure, you know, they want to make a statement saying, Vietnam is here to play. We might not be the second seed or the third seed, but we can qualify for the group stages. By the redemption arc, if you ask me, and Team Flash probably can fly the flags up high with such a performance, but it's still really too early to tell in this whole series. It could still possibly go five games and just it get could. the drafts. I think that looking for daddy has great ideas, just that they got to <laughs> clean things up a bit. They do. Uh, they have several great ideas. Their team name is not one of them, but they do have some <laughs> good ideas within the drum. I can't agree with that. But I'm also a big believer in patterns and trends, and we've only seen trios today. I think we have reason to believe this is a very likely trio yet again. They're inspired, you know, by the last two games. They've got to run it. Well, I guess that's a very positive uh, trajectory for the hopes. <laughs> Indeed. And meanwhile, we have something happening oh, over the mid side with when it turns golden. Well, Joyce easily gets a kill off, and it feels like looking for Daddy is slowly losing the plot here. They need <laughs> yes, to look indeed. for more opportunities than their Daddies right now. Here comes Jump the Waters, and also a tidal <laughs> wave. Now they're all catching him up a bit there. Well, we'll try to hang on here. Is there going to be any hacks that hold them at all? Well, Ellie just teases them for a tad bit longer. Tier 2 is about to fall. We have to let this go. They do indeed, and I really love the mind games coming through from Team Flash. They popped the Rift Herald at the bottom lane. I was kind of going to make a command about that. I was going to say, why did you guys pop this down if there's no wave, if there's no follow-up? But they manipulated the members of Team of LFD to go to the Dragon lane, defend the Herald push, and they dived mid as five. Really good stuff from Team Flash. I'm happy to see their decision-making at least looks on point right now. Yeah, just knowing what their strengths are, play towards it, and... They're not going to be getting a hit anytime soon. You look at this Akali, buying scrap items out there, not completing the Lish Bane, <laughs> not yep. finish up the Landry's as well. It, it's quite a tough look, especially when you already have on the opposing end a 9,000 lead on this. Well, I can't say 9,000 lead. 9,000 goal on Ellie right now. Lish Bane, grab on Death Cap. It's basically 100 to 0 for anybody who gets caught. Oh, it's definitely 100 to 0. The only one that might survive it is Sin Zhao with the Sterex Gauge or someone with the Wild Growth on them. But like we mentioned, right? He's not alone. He's not going to be diving in alone. There's a Renekton, there's a Kha'Zix, and there's a Super Mega Infernal Bomb. There's Tidal Waves coming in. And as we all know how water types work, when Tidal Waves come in, the fish is going to get stronger. The fish is poised to just take down the backline. Kha'Zix as well with 9,000 gold poised to take down the backline. Look at this Renekton, he's close to his GA, he's close to his Sterex Gage, has the components ready to go. 4,000 gold lead over. So is looking for Daddy, they lock in him with the Hexen Ultimatum, while yeah, there hi. is the Wild Grove on top. Wolf survives, while Pippi does not. Now, he flash, they got <laughs> what they needed for now, and they should be able to get one more turn off the bot. They definitely should. I feel like this should be just no problem for them. Satchel Charge comes in, cleans that one up. Joyce tries to find a little bit more, but it's a bit ambitious. And look at that, across the map, this is just complete and utter domination. They are just doing their due diligence, taking every turret out, not going for overdice. They saw what happened to Divine on day one when they got a bit too cocky after getting some kills. And, you know, this is just looking like a very dominant performance from Team Flash. 
Indeed it is, and classically, if you look at Vietnam as a region, they love the style of play. They like to play hyper-aggressive and punish teams that, you know, once it's time to safely farm up and looking for daddy. These two start adapting. Here comes Joyce, jumping right in. Johan, getting to get after 50%. Millie goes in for a flash barrier, and with the airy, takes down the Christian who has burned it all. My word, look at that. <laughs> Look, he used everything. Even the wild growth was committed and it couldn't save him. Maybe. Nothing's gonna save PP too. Oh. That's life. They used the flash. They used the barrier. They used the ultimate. Nothing can stop the wave of the flash. Joyce, once again, it's gonna be one to try to run away, but it's Shy with no fright under the turret. They didn't see the crocodile there hunting them out. And quickly yep. as it goes by, a flash, deep flash. Crushes up the inhibitor, and they may actually look for the game as well. They definitely could, but they're gonna cross their teeth and dot their eyes. They're gonna take out all the turrets, all the inhibitors, and it looks like going for one more reset right here or not. Oh boy. This one stun is all it took, and with the ultimate coming in, Mega Info Bomb will secure it for killing. Well, at first, I had a little concern for Team Flash, because they don't yes. really have any sort of DPS going on. With this overwhelming burst potential, I'm not complaining. Yeah, it's a great fight comp, right? It's a great comp to skirmish. It's a great comp to team fight. They run at you. The bombs come in from the Ziggs. They have double assassins. Kha'Zix can reset. The Nectin can slice and dice. They just get on your backline so very well. And don't forget the gold leads that they managed to accrue in the early game. They ran a skirmish heavy comp. Unfortunate here for Ellie. That would have been a one shot. <laughs> yeah. But it definitely gets a little bit tricky when you have Huchaka available for TP. Now Team Flash working on the Baron already. Absolutely empty work onto looking for Daddy's side, so they won't be able to set their sights here. They'll have to give way regardless as you look at the third wave pushing from the side lanes and Team Flash looking to close the game. Yeah, it's just very free for Team Flash right now, right? When Axon's pushing one side lane, Ali's pushing one side lane on this. This is oh. basically one shot Baron. Yeah, Wait. that's Ziggs right there. This is the combo. There comes Battle Wave, and that's what they needed. Looking for Daddy. Eventually crumble down while Team Flash, they look to ace them now, but that's not necessary. The Minions will take this game for Team Flash with the lead. <laughs> this